Hi friends, in the previous video we have seen about how to debug the angular code right. Now in this video we will see how we, uh, we will go deep into the components concept in the angular. First concept what we will see is we will see about how we can pass the data into a component from one component to another component how we can pass the data. So I will tell you the real time scenario where you will find this problem okay. Now let us see we will let us create a new project so that we will recap what we have learned until now i am creating something like sample project so i am typing ng new sample project here if i press ng new sample project now it takes some time to create a project it will ask for the routing right now we don't have any routing no css so it is trying to create a project so let it create the project now the project has been created let's go into the project what we have created and now let it let it open in the in your editor so whatever the editor you are using you can use right now i am using visual studio code so i will open that code code in the in this visual studio so now what i will try to do is first is first let's try to compile the code uh, run the code using ng serve so let let it run so in the meantime what we will try to do is we will try to install the bootstrap here okay we will try to install the bootstrap here sorry you can remove this one also so here it is right trying to run the code so you can type no so it first time it is running so now what i will try to do is i will try to run the bootstrap so let it install the bootstrap here so these are all the things we have already did in the previous videos and all the since the angle just i am doing the recap thing so it will take some time to uh, install the bootstrap and also compile for the first time compiling it it takes some time. So now bootstrap has been installed. Now we can go to the angular.json file so that we will add the bootstrap uh, here. So here I can go to I can close this one I can minify this one and I can go to here. Uh, in the projects you will be having the styles thing so here i can add node modules where it will present it will present in the node modules slash it will be in the bootstrap okay in the in the node modules bootstrap will be installed so we'll be having in the dist folder and here and you'll be having the bootstrap dot css or min dot css i am including the min dot css now this one is compiled so here also this one is also compiled let it uh, let rerun again so that it will read again the co compile file now here we have the source and app app folder and all those things right now let's we execute the code so if we execute the code here we got the output so fine so not a problem so up to now perfect so now what i will try to do is now let's create the components so something like i will create ng hyphen gc users component i will create one users component and it will take some time so after creating the users component and here you will be getting so here i have created and an, another one i will create user component which will have the single user and here you will be having the users data now what i will try now both the users and users component has been created now i can minify this one and now what i will try to do is i will try to go to the users component and here and before going to this one so app.html i will remove this all the code and i will add just container sorry give class is equal to container i will add the container and here i can add the row give class is equal to row i will add the row and here i can add div sorry div class is equal to all hyphen sm hyphen 12 i can add sm hyphen 12 and here what i will try to do is i will try to include the app hyphen users component okay the global users component i will try to include so if i try to refresh the code here so here you will be getting the users works okay fine it's perfect now what i will try to do is i will go to the users component and i will remove this one and I will create form hyphen group. This one is a form hyphen group. And in this one, what I will try to do is h3. I will take here h3. And what I will try to do is add user. 
okay for the time being what we'll take is we will take only the username only so username enter the username and here what i will try to do is i will try to create input type is equal to text you can have the text and here i can do form control okay so what i can do here we need to do the so i will add another one something like div class is equal to empty hyphen to i will take this one and i will try to add a button okay add user so i have added like this and what i will try to do is i will take to take the class is equal to btn hyphen btn hyphen primary these are the bootstrap classes in order to style the form so here we got a add username and add user so whenever i try to add the user automatically the user should be added here what are the list of users it should be added now what i will try to do is here i will take another one something like empty hyphen 3 or something like this so here i will try to show the app hyphen user so in which each user whatever being added in this user one will be we will be showing here so i will add something like users list i will be having the users list here if you see so you will be having the users list here you will be showing whatever the users are added here we need to show it down all the list we need to show so fine now first we need to add it here so how we can add it here first one what we can do is we can do use the two-way binding so ng model ng model is equal to what i will try to do is i will try to create a variable username so for this one we can go here and here we can do username of type string and for the time being i can keep it as empty so this is a username okay now if i go uh, if i see here in the in the code so you will get an error what is that error is so we cannot use the ng model why because we cannot use the ng model is so if in order to work this ng model what we need to do is we need to add a forms module in the app module import so what i will try to do is forms module or otherwise first we will import this one at the rate angular slash forms it will be present in the forms fine this one is also done so here if you over here you will get the forms module and you need to declare it in the imports so all the modules should be should be used in the imports remember this one you can copy here and you can pay oh, this one is coming forms module okay we can use the forms module here so we have done the basic setup so these are all the things we already discussed in the previous videos so that's why i am uh, completing it very fast so here it's completed now what i will try to do is whenever we add the user we need to somehow maintain the record of the users what are the users has been added so what we will try to do is so we will go to into the users component here the form is there right so what i will try to do is here i will try to create a variable something it will contain the list of users i will make it as an array so what i will try to do so here what i need to do is whenever the you whenever the button is clicked whenever add user is clicked so i need to call on user added or anything anything whatever the method you want you can mention so i am taking only the on user added here i can go i can go here and i can add a <coughs> new method on user added so whenever the user is added i can go this dot users list uh, here we will uh, capital problem okay on users list dot push i will push the what i have to push whatever the username the user is adding so we will push that username here okay done now what i'll try to do here if i check here so whenever i'm trying to add the user so each user is going to be a get added in the users list so now what i will try to do is so how many users are there we need to show it in the app users right so what i'll try to do here i will try to loop the user star ng for so you can use the ng for is equal to let user of users list okay we have the users list right so how we are looping over the each app hyphen user so that it will work so now if i try to refresh this one and if i try to add here if i click on add user we got the user work so that means one user is there now I, again i am adding another another one is coming so somehow whatever the user is added here we need to show it down so that means each user we are looping over here right we need to send this user data to the app user component so how we can send this user data to the app user component here 
so somehow we need to get a username here somehow we need to get a username of type string we need to get this user type of name string so that we can use this username here to show the to show that username here like this okay so we need to show it like this so how we can send here is so in this user component so we can send using property binding so you can use your custom name username and the type of thing what you are trying to send here you can send it like this the username i am sending this user data as in the variable name of username so what i can do i can copy this one and here in this user component we are using that same name here right so we need to tell that this username variable we are it's okay username variable but it is coming from the in component from the component as an input we are seeing so we need to mention it input here it will be imported from the angular core so this one will be imported from the angular core so we are telling that okay fine username variable is there in your component but this username variable is coming as an input from the as an input for this component so we need to mention so this username name is coming as an input so now if i go here and if i try to execute so here i will try to add leela and if i try to add leela so here see you will be able to get the leela and if i try to add john here and i will be able to get the john here so that means whatever the user is added here we are looping over this name the component okay and we are sending this user as an input to this username so that username will be taken as an input this user component and it is displaying so this is how we can send the data to the component from another component and also for example here you can think that i have another name mm, what i can say is i have another name like user now what i need to do so here but we are taking that name as an username so mismatching is there so we can add an alias here so whatever the data coming as an input for the user please store this in this username variable okay so this one also we can use it as an alias so here what we are doing user user we are getting the data as an input from from the component as user please take that user data and please store that user data in the username variable okay uh, for that input variable so this is also now if we try to execute the code you will get the same output okay so this is how we can send the data from one component to another using input using input custom using input property okay so this input property will be you will be using in this component so wherever the property you are having the, as an input parameter means then what you will be what you can think is so this data is coming from the component itself so from the component will be sending that data okay you need to remember that one so here this component we are getting the data as a user we are getting the data and here we are taking the data as an input alias name and we are storing that one in the username so if you have both this name and here the name same is there is no need to mention here so you can write directly here user if you are storing that one in the user means there is no need for us to mention both places okay this is how we can send the data so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you